Paige Suntree. I was wondering what server you were on and how are you? I'm on Winstar, Paige, and I'm doing a lot better. Thank you for asking. Ava Silveropolis. Oh, Silverpolis? Oh, gosh. I don't know how to say that one at all. <laughs> we met before at Veildale. Maybe we can meet again sometime. That would be great. Um... I'm on today to kind of hang out and catch up with everything, and then I hope to plan a bigger meetup soon. Uh, let's do one more. Ingrid Blue Book. Blue Brook. How are you doing? I just wanted to say that I love your films. They really make my day, and I love how funny you are. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. I can't wait to see more of them. I can't wait to make more of them. I'm glad that I'm back and feeling better, because it's been a while since I've got to just play the game. <laughs> Thank you, Ingrid. Off to turn, turn. Off to get a yellow helmet. That is in North Link. So we are going to take a trailer. I am so glad they lowered the prices of the trailers. I use them all the time now. I shouldn't say all the time. I still like to run and stuff, but if it's a long trip, whew. Where are we going? Silverglade? Equestrian Center? Is that the north? Let's do it. Is that the winery? Is that the one I call the winery? <laughs> it is the place I call the winery. Good to know. That's exactly where I wanted to be because I'm going to... Don't stop. I didn't tell you to stop. We need to go to North Link. Find the golden egg so I can show you guys what it looks like. It looks like a giant golden egg is what it looks like. Ooh, ooh someplace nearby there is a golden egg. I've never been over here. I did not know all this stuff was here. Hello, sirs. Is anyone hiding a golden egg? I don't care how I want it now. There it is! Woo, let's jump off the cliff to get it. Oh, no, I wanted to jump off the cliff. That was interesting. Here it is! You found a golden easter egg. Oh, we got a hat! It's the yellow one, I think. Yay! That's so exciting! Hello there! You would like to go on an egg hunt? Sweet. Yes, I would. Here's an egg. Whoosh. There's an egg. Oh, someone else asked me how I turn the camera, which I had to think about because when you're not doing it, it's hard to kind of remember <laughs> remember what it is. I turn my camera with my right mouse button. Oops. Man, that whole talking and riding thing. So I can move my camera around with the, the right mouse. Four. Oh, that's right. I forgot to show you guys the cool masks that you can get. Um, okay, get on the horse. <laughs> I was having so much fun with these on Saturday. There is a black bunny, a yellow chicken, <laughs> an egg. I should have worn that for egg hunting. 
a yellow bunny, and a green chicken. Chick, chick, chick. <laughs> anyway. Where's that egg one? Let's wear the egg one. <laughs> mug, mug. Mug, mug. So this is all very interesting. What do we have? We know that Linda is locked in the castle, probably by Godfrey, ordered by the Baroness. We also know that the Baroness is extremely secretive about her former husband, John Sandman, Sandman, whom she claims to be dead. This John Sandman should thus be the grandfather of Justin, and the man Justin and Sabine have gone to see. The police? Well, not yet, I think, but maybe soon. Listen, there's someone I need you to talk to who will be able to help us. Her name is Elizabeth Sunbeam, and she's my supervisor. You'll find her in Valedale. Oh, I just came from Valedale. Ever been there? Northeast of Silverglade Village, you'll find the Mill Hill Road, which later becomes the Valedale Way. Well, I'll get some XP. But I'm definitely taking the trailer. Maybe, maybe I should do some cleaning here to pay for it. Okay, so here we are in... Hildale. Let's go talk to this lady over here. Hello. Cadence, I've been waiting for you. How I knew you were coming? Oh, nothing mysterious about that. Alex sent me a text message. So, tell me what's going on. Right, I see. The Baroness seems highly involved in this indeed, or else she would have to let Linda out when you girls demanded it. At the same time, there is something she is trying to hide about her past. My strong belief is that both these matters are deeply entwined. The Silverglades was a powerful family who reigned over practically all of Yorvik, and to this day their members have influential positions in Yorvik Council. Silverglades are used to, are used to getting what they want. They have come upon an affair much more complicated than you ever imagined. Are you willing to continue helping us in this cadence? Yes, I think so. What bothers me the most is Sabine's involvement in all of this. Why that is, I cannot tell I cannot yet tell you. What is it they want with Justin? The only way of answering that is to find out who is this Mr. Sandman is. He who supposedly is Justin's grandfather. Before you continue to Firgrove to do further research, I would like you to do something for me. It may seem strange to you now, but there is a reason to why I'm asking you to do this. You will need this stick. Have you seen the rune stones that stand here at the hill behind the house? What you need to do is give each of those stones a minute of reflection, stand in front of it holding this artifact, and watch the pattern intently. When you have done this to all of the runestones, return to me and let me know if you felt anything unusual. Ooh, I'll get a hat. Okay. Ooh, it's getting a little magically exciting. Magically exciting. Oops, here we are down. Let's take this magic wand. Put it on the sunstone. Ooh. Oh gosh, that was creepy, yeah? Huh? Oh my gosh! I hope you guys can hear this. Creepy music and voices. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weird. I felt weird, Elizabeth. Does that count? So tell me what happened. They all started to glow? That's, that's very remarkable. It's the first time anybody, I mean, Thank you for your participation. Will you do me a favor and please keep this to yourself? Well, you can tell Alex, too, if you must. She is a member of our society. The Keepers of Ideen. Ideen? Ideen? That's all you need to know for now. 
According to the registration books, John Sandman grew up in Fir Grove. You should ride over there and talk to the villagers. Perhaps they can give you a clue on who this man really is. There is a shortcut to Fir Grove through the mountains. The pass may be a little difficult to find, but it's located to the southeast of Veildale's Cross Country Trail. Ooh, a sweater. Or we could just take the yellow taxi. I mean pink. Where did I get yellow from? Switch to green. Then I'll only mismatch a little bit. Anyway. Oh, what else you got for me? Hello. When the morning comes, dew drops have flocked on the rare fragrant flowers called flowers of iodine. The dew has many benefits and is called tears of iodine. I would like you to use this flask and in it collect six of these dew drops. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we are in Fergrove. Aha. Hello, Felicity. Hello. Oh, she has an egg hunt too. We just got our cross-country riding track rebuilt and we're all super excited. Hey, what if you tried it out? As an experienced rider, you could probably give us some tips on what you think about it. What a great idea! There are also lots of, a lot of regular stable chores to do here, but I can see if I can see if you've got other things to do. Minka. Okay. Um, let's do the egg hunt, and then we will do talk with the elders. If there's anyone you can talk to who has lived here for long, well, you've come to the right place. Fir Grove is full of old men and women that grew up here. Most of them are really nice and they love discussing the past. It can be rather annoying sometimes, but hey, that's only my opinion. You can have your opinion, Felicity, that's fine. Everyone's allowed their opinion, so, you know, just, just be nice about it. This is such a pretty area. Oh, asking questions. No usable information. Just grand stories about what it was like to grow up here. Which would probably be cool. It's a nice little town. But also out of the way. Hello, town elder, who looks like that lady's twin. Oh! Dear girl, I'm so happy to meet you. What is your name? Cadence? What a lovely name, dear. John Sandman, you say? It does ring a bell, actually. My memory may not be as good as it was, but I think that John Sandman was the man I paid my rent to when I first took over this house 50 years ago. God knows, but I wonder if I'm not paying the rent to him still. I, know. I will try to find a rent invoice for you to look at. In fact, until then, you could head over to the Fur Grove, Fur, I, uh, Fur Grove Town Hall and ask Mr. Franklin to see the picture of the village council from 1959. Now that I think about it, Mr. Sandman may have been a member of the council back then. Sure thing, milady. Have you seen any eggs around here? Got one. Boom! Oh, hello, sir. Hmm. Hmm. What are the odds? There was just a strange girl here asking that same question about John Sandman. And what's more, when I showed her the picture, she produced a pocket knife and cut him out of the photograph! Oh, God. 
I can't believe you youngsters. Just because you could do something with a computer does not mean you could do the same in the real world without consequences. This isn't ones and zeros, for God's sake. It's 50-year-old high-quality photo paper. If her name was Sabine? I don't know. She didn't tell, and she was wearing a dark cloak that hid her face. She took off on the blackest horse I've ever seen. She had a big black horse and a red and black cloak. But look, she's still over there by the gate. Hey, come back here, you hooligan. Go get the picture back for me, will you? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna catch her. I just wanna catch this egg first. Okay. Thank you for waiting. Well, I picked up my egg. Oh my gosh. Run, run, Moon Diamond! Run! Where is she? Oh. Oh, oh, I just saw a giant golden egg. What luck. You are no match for Moon Diamond, apparently. Let me slow down so you can speed off. Aha! Oops. Oh gosh. I guess I pickpocketed her. Oh, an egg. I got an egg. I've got some. I don't even know what to do with them. Let's turn in the Easter egg quest and then we will return the picture to the councilman. And and then I will not move. What do we get? Apples! Two apples. Not even the game. Real apples. You got it back! It seems that your generation is an incomplete decline after all. Good work! I hope I'll be able to restore the picture. Do you want a copy of this? I'll make one for you. Here it is. Mr. Packard called. Mrs. Packard called when you were out. Apparently you have some sort of invoice to pick up in the village. Good luck with whatever your adventure may be. Who pants? <gasps> they kind of match, you guys. Yeah, for matching clothes. Now, dear, I've got your invoice. See, the sender has a post office box in Silverglade Village. Does that help you in your research? Here, you can keep this invoice. It's months old. I hear magic. What happened? Did I level up and I missed it? Oh my god. I did! I'm level 10! Officially level 10. Whoa. Okay, we're back in Veildale. We're going to return the information to Elizabeth. Welcome back, Cadence. What have you found? A photo of Mr. Sandman? I see. And this? This may be the number of his post office box? Good detective work! Wait a minute. This looks like 
there's a man known as Mr. Sands who looks frighteningly like the person in this picture. Mr. Sands is the leader of Dark Core, an organization with an even darker agenda than that of global energy domination. Have you shown this to Alex? She would be really interested in seeing this photo. She fought against Mr. Sands before, you see, and has a deep hatred for him. She will be able to tell whether or not the man in this photo and Mr. Sands are the same person. So we let's go ask her. We are getting so close. What is happening here? That girl is like floating. Yes. Okay, we'll pick it up again. Yeah. Only Alex can tell. Oh, look at that jacket. Oh my gosh. Sarah Dawnbell, you look stunning. Look at that jacket, and it matches all of her gear. And I'm a hot mess per usual. <laughs> Sorry, I've come to love it. What have you found? A picture of John Sandman? Let me see it. Oh god, that's him! Mr. Sands! How could I have not realized this before? I guess it just didn't occur to me that things could be this severe. Or maybe I was just being naive. So this means that Mr. Sands is Justin's grandfather, and that Justin could be in danger as we speak. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Alright guys, thank you for joining me today for a another episode of Let's Play Star Stable, the first one that I've done in a while. It felt great. I'm glad to be back. And I reached level 10! So that means I'm gonna get a new horse! Hopefully they will fix the glitch on the American Quarter Horse. I was actually planning on getting an Arabian, but now that they have the new one out, I think I'm gonna go with one of those. I really like the brown one in Fort Pinta, so that may be it. But I also have a sneaking suspicion that if I wait, they are going to release some new colors. Hooray! Um, so yeah, I might wait for that. Who knows? I've been waiting a long time to get a new horse, <laughs> so I need to reward myself for finally reaching level 10. It is great to be back. I am, have been so happy to hear from you guys while I was gone. I'm still keeping up on comments. There are some I need to catch up on on the YouTube. And yeah, you'll be hearing from me again soon with another episode and a giveaway and a tutorial for OBS because I keep getting a lot of questions about that. So I really want to help you guys out. And I was thinking maybe an FAQ video. Who knows? We have everything in front of us to do now. I've got the sickness out of the way. I got vacation out of the way. So hopefully I'll be bringing you some more. So thank you again for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye.